hey guys what is up and welcome back to my channel um so i was listening to another podcast surprise surprise um and they were talking about like you know how during covid we wanted you know everything to be opened back up because we had taken normal life for granted but then certain places certain things when they were opened back up <clears throat> We're like, oh, maybe home is a lot better, you know? Um, <clears throat> like, for example, like, I don't know, a few weeks ago, um, we had, me and Kevin had gone out with his coworkers, and uh, we had a wonderful time, but it was so crowded. Um, you know, like, I was always kind of the person that, like, you know, wants to go out and have fun, cool, whatever, and then, like, when, like, there's always that point in time where you're just like, eh, I want to go home like I'd rather be in sweatpants I don't want to deal with human beings and stuff like that um and it's like when we went out it was like I felt like there was so many people around I was like how how did we deal with life like this before um you know how did we deal with so many people around us and like, I know sometimes like some people thrive off of being social, thrive off of being uh, around other people, which is really cool. Um, but I'm like one of those people that like, you know, I, I don't mind meeting friends, meeting, you know, other people, but at the same time, I'm not a fan of strangers, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want strangers all up in my business, like really close to me. Uh, that's always been a pet peeve, like, I feel like concerts and festivals and things like that are a little bit different because I'm there to see a certain band or I'm there to, you know, enjoy myself and I tolerate it for the day. But like in general, like if you're up my butt in the grocery store line and then I move up and then you move up, like I get annoyed because I'm like, I moved up to get away from you because you're too close and then you move up again. Like that's kind of one of my pet peeves and it's just weird, you know? Uh, it's just weird to think about how life is starting to come back, how, you know, we're starting to open up, um, life is starting to sort of return to quote unquote, should I say normal? Because, you know, one, I don't want to jinx it. And two, it's not completely there yet. We're still dealing with everything that we've been dealing with. Um, so I wanted to talk about like the different emotions that I think we have all felt during this COVID quarantine fucking year that feels like a century. Um, in one sense, I feel like, you know, this past year has gone by quick just because, you know, we've had to deal with it and we've kind of just do what we need to do. But at the same time, it also feels like it has taken forever. Um, you know, it's been forever since I've seen some of my friends. It's been forever since I have gotten to hug my grandma. Like, you know, the couple times we did go home, I wasn't able to hug her because, um, you know, she had a compromised immune system and I didn't, of course, you don't want anything to happen to your family. So it's just sad. It's just a sad thing. But, um, so the emotions I feel like we have all gone through was in the beginning i want to say was like a lot all at once it was like fear anger um you know you were scared you were unsure you were nervous you were um like sad and i feel like you know a lot of people became depressed if they weren't already depressed and anxious they became depressed and anxious and those that already had depression and anxiety existing like they already had it myself included went deeper into it and i feel like you know it's one of those things where it's like no one knew it was coming and it just came and we had to deal with it and then in the beginning we thought you know it was only going to be here for a few weeks haha -ha. a few weeks turned into a few months which turned into a fucking year um but I feel like, you know, we should stop and step back and not take anything for granted anymore. Um, you know, I think we used to take it for granted walking into a restaurant, being seated, being able to eat out, 
being able to go to a movie theater and, you know, watch a movie, being able to go bowling or play pool or uh, to an arcade or something like that, shopping, um, we took a lot of things for granted, I think, in this life. And I think a lot of people, there's a lot of different types of people, and I think it's funny there's a video on youtube about um a guy made that was like you know the different types of you know quarantine people um and it was really funny because a lot of them were accurate um but like it makes me sad seeing the people that are just now so angry um i think a lot of the anger had to do with feeling controlled, feeling your life was controlled, feeling like you couldn't do anything, um, you know, feeling like it was never going to end, plus the uh, other parts of anger might have come from our ex-president, president, president um, that was an angry person. And I don't want to hear your political beliefs, beliefs. I don't want to hear your, I don't want political bullshit up in here on my channel or in my comments. I'm just saying, um, it is fact that our last president was angry and, uh, very small-minded and bigoted about, um, other countries, about different races, and it's sad. It is 2021, we should be loving everybody. Um, you know, no matter what, there's no reason to be hateful um, towards someone because of their race or their sexual orientation or uh, their gender or whatever have you. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, I just think some of the anger had stemmed from that and some of the anger stemmed from feeling like your life was out of control, you couldn't, do anything you can go anywhere and it, it's a frustrating thing i think it was very frustrating for a lot of people um myself included and um you know i think we're very lucky we are very lucky to live in a world and live in a country where we can just do that where we can go to the movies where we can go shopping where we can go bowling and out to bars and to a restaurant and you know out and about celebrate holidays, do things outside, go to a park, go kayaking, go to the beach. Like, I think we are so privileged in so many ways. And I think when COVID shut down and every, you know, COVID has shut everything down, all those privileges came to a halt. And I think that's when people got angry and people got scared and people got upset and depressed. And it's true. I mean, I felt all of those emotions too. For a long time, I was, um, I don't want to say angry, but probably frustrated is more the word that I couldn't go to the gym. I was frustrated that I couldn't really go anywhere or do anything that I was used to doing because we are a privileged country. Um, you know, you think about other countries that don't know any better, that don't have these uh, privileges and people that are brainwashed that can't go and do these things in other countries and you know that makes me sad um i don't really want to get into all that but just pretty much that i think that we had gone through so many emotions during this past year that you know a lot of people are in a fragile state right now a lot of people um are mentally exhausted a lot of people are mentally drained and don't know how to get themselves out of it. And I think that once things are starting to opening back up and things like that, and you might go do something, um, <clears throat> don't put others down for wearing a mask or not wearing a mask. Don't make people feel bad for going out or not going out. Um, it's everybody's choice. It is everybody's choice to you know, do what they wanna do. If you still don't feel safe yet and you still want to stay home or you still want to wear your mask or whatever have you, go ahead. And if you want to go out or you don't want to wear a mask or you this and that, go ahead. Like, don't make somebody make you feel bad and don't be that person making other people feel bad because it has been a long and exhausting year and I feel like we have been living 
for everybody else and you know we have been living how we've been living we have pretty much been told what to do and what we can and cannot do for an entire year and I feel like people just want a little bit of freedom people want just a little bit of you know normalcy in their lives before we all go crazy because I feel like a lot of us have felt um felt that way a lot of us have felt frustrated a lot of us have felt angry and depressed and sad and scared and afraid and um and anxious and uh you know everything else we have felt probably every single emotion in the book every single day for over a year and i feel like you know if people want to go out let them if people want to still stay home let them there should be no reason that we're making other people feel bad for what they want to do um as things are starting to open back up and as you know things are starting to become a little bit more normal um, so that's all I wanted to say. I have to go to work now, unfortunately. Um, it looks like it's going to rain. It has been on and off raining for like, I don't know, a week or two now. And, uh, what can I say? It's hurricane season, but I really want some sun so I can go out and tan a little bit, you know? But, uh, anyway, that's all I have to say today. I know it's a short one, but uh, I just want to talk about, you know, talk about that voice my opinion and uh i hope everyone has a great tuesday and uh whenever you're watching this i hope you have a wonderful day